everybody! Welcome back! We're doing another improper integral problem. This one is x e to the negative 3x dx on the range 0 to infinity. So, again, um, whenever you see an integral problem with a range like this, 0 to infinity, just ignore that for now. Pretend it's not there. The first thing we want to do is deal with the integral, and we'll get back to that. So, the first thing we're going to do, x e to the negative 3x, um, that's not simple enough for us to just take the integral problem, or the integral, immediately. So, we are going to have to decide whether we're going to use um, e substitution, or partial fractions, or integration by, by, by parts. Um, in this case, we're going to use integration by parts. The, the reason I know that is because... Um, we have x, which is a term by itself, and then e to the negative 3x, which looks like a separate term. And I'm thinking that if we uh, assign u to x, when we take the derivative du, that's going to become 1, which might end up simplifying our problem. So, remember when we use integration by parts, um, we have to assign u and dv to values in our problem. So we're going to say u is x, and dv is e to the negative 3x. So we've assigned values um, to, and remember, u and dv have to take up everything in the problem. So we can't have you know some other term that doesn't get accounted for. Um, dv takes e to the negative 3x, u takes x, and that's our entire problem made up in u and dv. So we've assigned those two things, and the reason that I assigned them this way instead of uh, dv is, is x and u is e to the 3x is because um, the most important thing we can look for is that when we take the derivative of u here, this term gets simpler, and we'll see why in a little bit. But So we assign u to x, when we take the derivative, du, we get 1, right, because the derivative of x is 1. So let's just go ahead and leave that for now, and then we have to take the integral of dv to get v. So when we're taking the integral of something that has um, e in it, remember the exponent always stays exactly the same. It doesn't change. It never does when we're dealing with e. So that's just going to stay e to the negative 3x. But then um, we have to divide by the coefficient on this um, whole exponent here. So we divide by negative 3. So we end up with negative 1 third e to the 3x. So now that we have u, du, v, and dv, um, we need to go ahead and plug back in to our integration by parts formula. Let's go ahead and write that up here, just so that everyone has it for reference. Um, the, the formula for integration by parts is uh, the integral of u dv equals u v minus the integral of v du. So the reason that we assigned u and dv to values in our problem is because in the formula, this, the left-hand side of the equation here, is our original function. So you can see u and dv need to be assigned, and then we have, um, we apply what we found here to the right-hand side of the equation, all of this stuff, and um, hopefully that'll make integrating easier. So you can see here u and v, so we have um, x, which is our u, and then v, so times negative one-third e to the negative three x, minus the integral of v, so again, negative one-third e to the negative three x, and du, and du is just one, so we don't have to write one, we can just write dx to close up our integral notation. So. This will, in fact, make our integral easier. Let's just go ahead and simplify. Um, out in front here, we've got negative um, x e to the negative 3x over 3 um, is this whole term simplified, minus, and then this 1 third here, we can actually bring out in front of the integral because it's a coefficient on um, our term inside of the integral. So we're going to have... Um, the negative one-third, we're going to move it out in front here. Because we have minus a negative, that can be a positive, so we're going to make that plus one-third, which came out in front. And then in the integral, we're just left with 
e to the negative 3x dx. Okay, so that's simplified. Um, all we have left in the integral is e to the negative 3x, which is something we can take the integral of. So that's great. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we rewrite the front here. Negative x e to the negative 3x over 3 plus 1 third. And now we're going to go ahead and take the integral. So the integral again, we just took it up here, right? e to the negative 3x, it's the same thing again. So that's negative 1 third e to the negative 3x. Um, and that's it. That's our integral. So now that, we've, um, now that we've taken the integral, we'll go ahead and simplify negative x e to the negative 3x over 3. And then since we have a positive times a negative, we end up with minus um, e to the negative 3x over 9, right? Because we have 3 and 3 on the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9 on the bottom. And it's e to the negative 3x is on the top. So um, that is our, our final integral. Now all we need to do is evaluate this um, integral on the range 0 to infinity. And the, 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 the notation for that looks like this. We draw a line and we write 0 to infinity. Um, infinity stays on the top, 0 stays on the bottom. And all this means is that we are going to evaluate everything on this side of this line on the range 0 to infinity.